I know the DLC is like less than two days away, but I'm really excited for it and I've been looking over the trailer a little bit more over the past few days and in this video what I wanted to do was go over all of the new outfits that we saw. I mean obviously you guys love Fashion Friday, that's like a huge thing on my channel, I love making unique and awesome outfits for you know your GTA Online character and in this video that's what I wanted to talk about, all the new clothing options. I'm not sure if anyone actually noticed this but the or in the trailer and in the screenshots if you counted there are actually 10 new outfits and it's kind of funny how they they only show 10 I, I don't know i'm hoping there might be a little bit more than 10 although i could definitely see them only adding 10 new outfits to to gt online i mean i would assume like everything else you could buy the individual parts of the outfit separate if you wanted to to mix and match with other outfits but just don't be surprised if we only get 10 actual full motorcycle gear outfits. And here are the ones we actually got. So the first one we have is the grotty one. This one uh, you could see at the very beginning of the trailer and in the official artwork. It's a pretty simple one, the red and the white. I like the belt. It's a nice addition. Obviously, the helmet matches, but what's interesting about this is that the guy's not actually wearing gloves in either of the pictures, so I don't know if that's something to be concerned with or, or what. I just thought that was a pretty interesting little tidbit about that outfit. Uh, the next one we have is actually the Sharon Kav. I probably said that wrong, but this one you could see uh, also at the beginning of the trailer and when they're on the motorcycles this one is a pretty simple look as well it's literally all black for the most part i mean you got the the sharon Kov across the chest and then you had a few stickers coming down the side this one to note has some pretty big boots and some pretty big gloves and comparing that to the first one the first one uh the guy's boots they were relatively normal looking but the sharon Kov one looks like it's a little bit more heavy duty if that makes any sense. Moving to the third one, we have a lot of pictures for this one. This one is the Ubermacht, and this one's a really cool one because it's a nice navy and silver, or navy and gray. That's a really cool color combo, and one thing I like about this one, and you notice it on the picture when he's on the bike here, sort of in the blue part, there's like there's like white shapes, and I, I don't know, I just find that really unique, and, and in my opinion, it makes it look even cooler, you know, than without it. From what we're given in the trailer, it's hard to like really tell, but I would imagine just from this picture alone, uh, we're gonna be seeing the same sort of heavy duty style gloves and boots with this outfit. Also, one last thing I'll note is the Ubermacht logo in the middle. That looks awesome. Next up, we have the crevice, and this is another one that, that was featured in the official artwork. It's the red, white, and blue one. It also has a redwood sticker or redwood uh, logo on the sleeve. Looking at the picture from the artwork, I love that helmet, like the design, especially on the top there. That looks really cool. Moving on, we have one that I'm sure a lot of people will use, the evil Knievel one. And this is a pretty classic uh, sort of stunt outfit. I mean, you got the white sort of cut all the way down to your chest shirt or jacket with the plain white helmet, the blue sort of accents on the shoulders and down the pants and on the belt like i said I, I think a lot of people are going to use this one just because it is evil knievel and that like perfectly fits this update next one we have the only one that we actually could see sort of up close and this one is the junk energy an interesting thing to note about this one is not only uh like the clothing but the shoes and the hands like you could see the big heavy duty gloves again but on this one he doesn't have the big boots he just has regular normal looking boots and his pants don't really look like they're made for this type of dlc like obviously it's gonna be new clothing but they just don't have any markings on them they're they're just basically plain pants next we have the meteorite one this was a cool one because it's black and yellow uh, although it has some blue as you can see on the helmet there this one does have those giant boots you can see on the left hand side there and it's going to be really fun to like sort of match your, your cars with these really awesome outfits. I think that's going to be one of the cool parts about you know next week's Fashion Friday. Moving on we have the Nagasaki one. This one is the green, white, and red. A lot of interesting and different colors here. Again, this one has the big boots and the big gloves on, and it's got a few sort of logos going down the sleeve with Nagasaki written across the chest area. And then we have the Spronk one. This one almost might be my favorite just because, like, it's got the Spronk logo on the chest, and it's got the Spronk, like, the saying going on the sleeve and down the pants. Plus, green and white, that's a really cool color combo. Although, the one thing I'm not liking about this one in particular is the helmet just because it's got the lime green in there. Maybe we'll have to, uh, you know, mix and match and put on another helmet, but I, I really like the outfit itself. 
And then the last one we have is this black, red, and a little bit of white, I think. And this one is actually the Estancia Cigars outfit. It's hard to make out, but that's what it says across the chest. And again, like pretty much every other uh, motocross outfit, there's the, the main sort of maker of the outfit or sponsor going across the chest. And there's the other ones going down the arm. The helmet on this one is basically just the all matte black version of like the other racing helmets. Honestly, excluding the Evil Knievel one, this one might be another like really popular one just because of the way it looks. But anyway, that is it with all of the 10 outfits that we saw in the trailer and screenshots. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What I'm gonna bet they're gonna do with them is in the outfit section, you know, when you go up to the store, lady, there's gonna be the 10 different options there. And then hopefully they'll sprinkle them into all the other clothing options so we can mix and match, say, put those crazy boots on with other pants or put the crazy gloves on with another jacket. Hopefully they don't restrict us too much because that'd be really unfortunate and then we kind of wouldn't even be able to customize these awesome outfits and use these awesome custom clothes that they're adding to the game. But you guys can let me know in the comment section what you all think. Hope you all have a great Sunday. See you all in the next video. As always though, it's your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace.